So this is number four for this week, Insights. Oh look, the sun just came out of me. See, someone's listening. Okay, so we're going to go over to Alma chapter 50. By the way, this is that cute bridge that I was pointing out before. It's really, really sweet. Um, makes for a lot of good photos again. This is really, actually a really excellent garden for many different photo angles. This being the photographer in me, you know. So, okay, Alma 5023. Now this is a really interesting one. Uh, and this really speaks to a lot of what President Nelson talks about on Joy. And the quote that I've got for this one comes from President Nelson. But he's not the only prophet that has spoken on this. There's numerous, numerous prophets and uh, Book of Mormon prophets, Old Testament prophets, New Testament prophets have all said similar things, many of them. And it's still a lesson we need to learn. Uh, it takes time, it's not an instant one. So, you're thinking, what is this? Have I piqued your curiosity? If I have. Okay, so 5023 says, and remember this, before we go into this, this is still, um, they're fortifying their land still. Um, and even in verse 1, it says they did not stop making preparations for war or to defend his people against the Lamanites because evil never ceases. Remember, Satan does not cease. Uh, they're causing towers to be erected, strongholds. Um, all sorts of preparations are going on. You can imagine them storing food as well. And it's, yeah. But there was a time when the Lamanites didn't come against them and this is when they're preparing. So verse 23 really covers because they were industrious and they were like looking in the right directions, doing the things, preparing, covers what happens. It says, But behold, there never was a happier time among the people of Nephi since the days of Nephi than in the days of Moroni, yea, even at this time in the twenty and first year of the reign of the judges. So there wasn't a happier time among the Nephites not to come, including up until Moroni, the the second like Mormon Moroni people weren't as happy even like when Christ was there the people in general were not as happy and peaceful although they had peace but it's like what are you kidding me I'm sure they were really happy but they were I don't know it's almost as if in times of adversity we appreciate the joy more like the worse it gets the more we appreciate the good stuff and I think immediately after Christ had come, they appreciated the good stuff, um, being that that was a pretty terrible time. And then people forget. It lessens in their mind. So because they were being continually attacked, this is just my opinion here, but because they were being continually attacked and they were continually preparing for war and continually fortifying their weak places, that like, any small joy, any wedding, any birthday or whatever they celebrated then or even just every day was a gift and a blessing and they were happy I'm like that is so cool so how do you think the people experience so much happiness in a time of battle and I maintain it's a focus it's in the focus not in the circumstances um, and President Nelson said <laughs> this is a quote that I love Saints can be happy under every circumstance. We can feel joy even while having a bad day, a bad week, or even a bad year. And I would definitely count 2020 as a pretty sucky year. Uh, my dear brothers and sisters, the joy we feel has little to do with the circumstances of our lives and everything to do with the focus of our lives. And that is so true. And again, it takes time to learn this. And the more we try to learn it, the better we get at it. Um, do the confident, do the uh, gratitude diary. Start there. Start with just being thankful for things and then be thankful for, you, you get better at being thankful for uh, things that have happened to you rather than just like, you know, things like my fancy phone that I need to replace because it's getting old and dying on me. But yeah, those kind of things. We're, we're thankful for the littler things. We're thankful that someone led us into the traffic because we needed to get somewhere. We're thankful that you know, when we went to the supermarket, the thing we needed the most was on special and we were able to get enough of it for that week. We're thankful for um, being really hungry and we've had an abundance of citrus fruit here in the winter in the middle of New Zealand when everyone's been needing fruit for their school lunches and we're not able to get fruit from, like, bananas have been slow in production and for a part of it. We can't get fruit in from Australia because of COVID-19 and yet there's been an abundance of citrus fruit. 
so you know be thankful for that I mean there's this happiness to be found there because that is the focus when you start looking at the happy you see it more and more and more so it's not to do with the circumstances of your life it's to do with the focus of your life um, but I've learned that even in the midst of deep depression that I can find joy um, because of my focus but you have to train your brain to do that it's called training new like making new neural pathways and it's complicated type sounding thing but really it's just thinking in a different way and it's it's as hard as cutting through new forest it's it's tricky sometimes it's like cutting through new forest with a pocket knife it's hard but you can do it it is possible and the more you do it the better you get at it and you know you end up with an axe instead of a pocket knife and you get really good at it and then you can see joy in everything because of your focus okay so we're going to carry on for the last one which is an hour 51 and hopefully I'll be able to do it from up there and you can look at it in the river. Okay, see you in a bit.